שלום, שלום. שלום, שלום. Today we are starting the lecture 39. Al Trabi, the topic, the title of this lecture is Al Trabi, praying or supplication is a sin in Shia cult. While Sunni considers God worshipping. So these are the two major Muslim groups and two billion Muslims. So Shia considered as a rebellious practice where Sunni consider it's a worshiping of God. Similarly their azan is entirely different their worshipping five time periods are entirely different their hajj practice is different even their hadith the six hadith sita the six people who wrote the sunni hadith and iranian has their own hadith writer Similarly, they have four, four Imam, Iranians have their own Imam. So this is the situation. You know, on the Eve of Hajj, three million people, maximum three, four million. And now it has been increased. But when the people go to Karbala, so almost 20 million people visit Karbala and on the way from Iran to Karbala, all these people who are living over there, they open their houses so as they are giving them free food, accommodation, so this is a bigger assembly than Hajj. So all the, the similarly in Nepal, the birthplace of Ram, millions of people visited over there. And this is the main source of income of Nepal. So these religion, all these holy places, all these holy worshipping, holy book, so this has been generated by the influence people, politics people, kings people, religious people to mint money. So that is the reason I have selected that Al Trabi. So they are, you know, in Saudi Arabia, they, you know, they only observe or practice eight Ravi, but in Pakistan, 20. But al this group, which is the part or branch of the Wahhab at that time, so at that time, al hadith was praying eight and Sunni were praying 20. And they used the Saudi government, you know, Imam Wahhab, they made the agreement with them. He used them, depressed the people, suppressed the people. Now he replaced all these things. They are praying, they are all brief, there are these. And now he brought over there Hollywood, Bollywood. He brought entertainment. That was religious entertainment. But this is now entertainment you know, movie entertainment, singing entertainment. So, there is no Quran over there. And the people are more enjoying than now. Instead of at the time of Abdul Wahab, I spent 
40 years over there, I have seen all these things. So this Arab nation is a dead nation. So this is the situation I have selected it now. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Humanity should smile, feel happy that this system, the Quranic constitution, which is a source of your gradual development, growth, and as well as emergency extensive, make the government based on this constitution so that people will get the you know gradual development and the intensive development so this is the meaning of rahman and rahim and bism does not mean names of allah bism means arabic grammar or go to see the lexicon its root is base in meme tabassum smile bloom happiness And you will get the development or growth like the baby that the fetus get the development in mother womb or the seed get the development in the earth womb, earth womb you know. So this is the translation of Bismillah. This is all in the name of Allah, most gracious, most, it's all Bible. Jesus is also most merciful. This is also most gracious. So now, the Muslim clergy definition of Taravi prayer. First of all, as it's my way to explain you the Quran. So first of all, what they are saying, I, I just bring a summary. I don't want to go into detail because it's all garbage, you know. It's a filth, you know. Travi prayer, Salatul Travi, signify rest or relaxation. So this is their definition. It is a voluntary supplication after the evening prayer of Isha every night during the blessed month of Ramadan. There is a no Ramadan, there is a no five prayer, time prayer, there is a no fasting, there is a Nothing in the Quran. They fabricated it. Because by the help of this, they are running their business. So some Islamic clergy narration state that complete Travi is a eight rakats, while others say it is 12 or 20. Look, the difference is over here. Some are saying 8, some are saying 12, some are saying 20. When attending Travi at a masjid, the Imam will usually usually pray the full 20 rikat as all four school of thought supported this narration. You know, all this blessing of the poor Imam, they divided the Imam into four, four school of thought. Shafi, Hami. At the time of Caliph Abu Bakr, there were eight rakats of Tarabi. But Khalifa Umar increased it to 20 rakats. This is their you know, statement, the clergy or the priesthood. So then, Travi prayers are prayed in pairs, two. Pair means after two rukat, then after eight they take rest, whatever. According to the Hanfi, Malki, Shafi and Hanbali schools. So here they are agreed. The Muslims are always agreed on the, you know, baseless thing, on something. They will never agree on the Quran. Because if they will agree on the Quran, they have to say goodbye to all the sects, all the Imam, all the Hadith, all the Mambo Jambo they are doing. Because Quran is a book to solve your problem on daily basis, make a government on basis of that. 
Shia Muslim regard Travi as an innovation, Bidda. They are saying it's a Shaitan. It's a transgression. It's a rebellious action. Look, they are saying. Reintroducing after the death of Muhammad by Umar ibn al Khattab. I have gone to the biography of all these Caleb. The best person, what I have read, I'm not supporting any sect. And the Quran does not mention any Imam, any all this Avakram. Quran is free from all any personality, name, or citizen or religion. Even he does not allow to call any person infidel or kafir, non-Muslim. No, it's a discrimination. But what I have gone to the literature, Umar al-Khattab looks better than all these. On 3 January 2000, Malaysian Prime Minister Mahathir Muhammad expressed a regret that Travi prayers were made use of by certain people for political gains. Yes, he is right. A very honest person. Because they are making money now. Eid, Ramadan, Travis, Sadaqat, Zakat on your gold, on your land, on your saving. They are making money. On April 2022, hundreds of Muslims gathered in Times Square to perform the first Taravi prayer of Ramadan. Over 1,500 meals were handed out to the people before the prayers. It break their fast, known as Iftar. Our Quran is saying, Fatir Samawat Do you think these Samawat are there baking the fasting? They are stupid, you know. They don't know what they are saying. This event marked the first Taravi prayer held in Times Square. Very happy. You will see that now I have received some video. They are sitting like a herd of sheep in the square, in the roads, and they are eating. Oh, look, look, Ramadan, look, how many people? They are all herd of sheep. They are Summan, Bukman, Humyan. Their faculties have been gone. They are dead. They are living fossils. So this is their definition of the Taravi. Let me come to you now. The I have brought for you two verses of the Quran. It will give you clear picture. It will clear your mind. Quran. I criticize Quran. And when you criticize Quran, you will get the answer. I never accept the Quran any verse without, you know, criticizing reasoning. And would you like to know? I could not find any bad virtue. I, I find all the good virtue. I'm not saying because because I'm a Muslim or no. After you know studying the grammar, lexicon, and pondering upon the different verses, then it opened my mind. So let me start it. Verse 287, from where this word Travi has come. Walakad atayna musul kataba, akafayna min baad bir rusul, wa atayna isa ibn maryam al bayyanat, wa atayna bir ruh, this is the ruh. Travi, from here they, they fabricated the, all these 10 or 20. Al Quds. Afakamul Afakalma Jakum Rasulu Bemala Tahwa Anfosikum Astakabratum Farikun Kazabatum Farikun Taktalum. So let me first you give the ru. What is a ru? It's a travi. They take from the word ru travi. It's the same. Let me give the different shade of the travi. Re heva is a basic ru. <coughs> It signifies wind. When air is blowing, they call it ru. <coughs> ra. Smell. Scent fragrance. This is also ru. 
It's a very delicate language, very rich language. Ra, cold wind, or the Madak himself in the thing or affair. Affair he also feel. Then Ravaha, he became brightened, acquainted with that thing. He rejoiceful or cheerfulness or briskness or liveliness or disposing him to promptness in act of kindness, beneficies or generous or he became light and act. This is the meaning. Brightened, briskness, cheerfulness, life you know. And they put this in Travi, where they tied. Now another word they are using signifies the experience of relief from grief, from sorrow. They put the sorrow and grief in the society by you know, imposing this travi and sorrow after suffering or experience the joy and happiness arising from the certainty. So when you have, you achieve any result or any, any event of your rejoicing happiness, that is also reha. Rao Shaja, the trees broke forth with leaves. You know now, summer is coming, the tree is leaving, breaking the uh, leaves or branches. So that is also Rao Shadar. New thing is coming. Freshness is coming. Then Re smelt or perceived the order of fragrance or he fanned with him with a fan. Marwa is a fan. The, the, the fan you have, they also call it Marwa. So same word it is. It give you, you know, cold air in the hot season, give you satisfaction. Quran is a very selective, very good, you know, knowledge, Mabel Qatar, you know. I could not find, I have gone through, you know, a lot of literature all my life studying the good books. But this book is the fantastic, it's a mind opening. Not this translation which we have. Look, I am giving the Travi. How how many shades were there? Then, Araha, a breath of a man or of a horse. When horse taking breath or man taking, that is also Araha because air is coming. Then, Reha, wine that causes briskness. You know the intoxication of wine. It gives the satisfaction to the people. It is not a haram. They do everything around. They are using this alcohol in the capsule, their solvent, in the medicine, cup syrup, in the, in the tablet, in cleaning, all the cleaning, and your acetate and for the cloth, this is coming from the also ethyl alcohol. I don't know why they are saying haram. They are doing all the haram. They have made this prayer, you know, this haftar, this hajj, umrah, this is also haram. It is not in the Quran. But wine is not haram. It doesn't mean I am saying you drink wine, no. Then Ruhul Yaqeen. The joy and happiness that arise from the certainty. Very good, Yakin. When you have a certainty, stability, that Quran says, Ruh Yakin. Your mind, your personality, it is now free from uncertainty, come into the certainty, stability, firm. This is Ruh Yakin. Look the shade Quran is using. And I will explain it two, two verses only to give you a clear idea. Then rule mean trustworthy. Here rule you keen happiness. And here rule mean trustworthy. Education of the Quran. This is a rule I mean. Quran is rule I mean. Your leader, if you have a good leader, he safeguard your rights. He is a mean. 
because he is creating peace, prosperity, which brings stability. Ruhul Amin, trustworthy education of the Quran, which brings stability, peace, prosperity, and tranquility, of which protect the basic rights of the people. This is verse 2693. But now we don't have it in any 50 Islamic country Quran. Even we don't understand the Quran. How we can say it is trustworthy or bring the stability, peace and prosperity and tranquility? How we can say? All these translation of the Quran, this is all garbage. This is, this is against the Quran. So basic right, rule I mean basic right, prosperity, tranquility, stability, peace. Now, a rule quds, the philosophy of the Quran, a rule, education. Quds, powerful. Which has a deep and far away intense effects. When you understand the Quran, then you will see how your personality will change. Rural Quds, powerful, reasoning, education, Reha, open and plain tracks of land producing much happy. Mean, it's giving the, you know, society freedom, openness, plain. Now this religion, has destroyed you. They put upon you prayer, they put upon you hadith, they put upon you, you know, shrines, they put upon you for imam and hadith and sunnah and, you know, so how you, how you will survive? Rohani, a good or pleasant place in respect to wind or air. They call Rivani, you know, these shrine people. They are very, you know, they are saying that we are, a, you know, we have, you know, education, aspiration, you know. Yomari, a day of good or pleasant wind. When a, in, in hot season, when the rain is coming, before rain there are some winds are coming, giving the message that rain is coming, that is Riyomaniya, pleasant wind. Lalatul Rakh, a good and pleasant night, or a good and pleasant things. Taravi, look, a single rest during the prayer of Ramadan. This is a word. And the same word they are using, istra. Istra means I can uh, uh, translate motor. When you, for example, when you travel from Jeddah to Medina, it's a 400 kilometer. So on your way, there are, you know, from Jeddah to Medina, there are six, seven istra motor. People stay over there, offer their prayer and take some lunch or dinner, whatever, you know. It's a 400 kilometer drive, so they take rest. So that is why they put the name Istra. It is written Istra. Then, puffing, blowing the air, ignite the fire is also Istra. When you puff the air, it's also you are putting the Air, blowing the air from your mouth. Atlabul min reha Allah. In in the research of Allah, the means of subsistence, subsistence, you for your nourishment. Alwaludul min reha Allah. Offspring is from the fragrance of Allah. Allah's Allah, your offspring. It's a fragrance of Allah. Then. Arroha al ma, water gets stagnant and plotted. Look, now it is opposite of that. In all other meaning, 
they are fresh and nice, everything. But here, you have to, when I'm using this, you know, technique, so it changed the meaning 180%. Very careful when I make the translation. Al Marwa, Al Marwa to fan or pleasing air of the fan. I already. Now, there are so many people are asking, Ru, they are saying it's a spirit. I don't know, soul. There are so many things they are saying. And this all come from the Christianity, you know. So here is 1785. I'll give you what is a Yes, well, yes, Luna and Ru. I have selected for you this small verse to explain the Ru. Go to the woman, Amin Rabbi. They ask you about the Ru. So, what is Ru? Comes from the command of my boss of head office, the order. And that is why the order, the decree, is known as Ru education. There is no spirit, no soul. There is something else. It's all, you know, deception. And there is a proper noun or rule. It is the education of the Quran. Our rule denotes spirit or soul, but it does not support by the Quran. They have mentioned in lexicon, all the lexicon, because it was translated by you know, main lexicon, this um, lane, he copied from almost 105 or 10 famous lexicon. He was a Christian. But he, what he did, he did honestly, and he translated it. He did not add anything, but he was a Christian where the word he could not find find according to the Arabic, he used the Christian word like mercy, like other thing, like worshipping. So this is, now this is the Qudus now, it signifies free from all kinds of imperfection or corruption or free from civil activities, evil activities. Quds, powerful force, which is a free from, and this is the Quran. Ruhul Quds, the Quran, it is, the Quran is called by Ruhul Quds. Quds fill earth, signify the society free from imperfection or evilness or blessing. When you put the Quran in your society, it will be free from all. But they have translated fill earth. This is a proper noun as earth. It's not a common word, common noun. If it is a common noun, then you can put the land. Land can be any land, in American land, Saudi land. But it is al alert where the Quran was implemented. It is the Quran is talking about that when Quran Federation implemented that society, not earth. Bethel Magdas, Assembly House for discussion in Quranic principle. Beth constitution or where the constitution discussed manners, mods, the cults, I give you cults. It does not mean poise, no, it's a powerful al -kut. Bethel Muqaddas. It is not that Bethel Muqaddas, it's a Quran. Now, let me give you the translation of it. I have explained you the word Ru and Quds. Why I explain you? Now you will tell. Walakad Atayna Musa. Look. Indeed, we the Federation gave Musa parameter Al Kitab. Parameter decrees, values, writing written mandate. And whenever Al-Kitab means, in a, you know, in Surah they are coming, it means that, you know, verses which is in that chapter or 
surah. It doesn't mean the whole of the Quran. Let you take it, understand it clearly. Zalikal al kitab. This Zalikal, this surah Bakra now. It is not a kitab now. It's only that part. We are now starting. We are giving the information of Surah Bakra, Zalik al kitab Not the whole Quran. After that, we send multiple messengers and we give Isa ibn Maryam. Isa ibn Maryam means successor of the Maryam. Building block of the Maryam. Architecture of the Maryam party. Your son is also your successor. Bint, your daughter is also your successor. The Quran is used in this. And they make the son, you know, Isa ibn Maryam, the son of the Maryam, they, they borrowed from Christianity. And they, what they did, they took all this literature from the Quran, made some changes, and then they said, look, Islam is a new religion, and we are an old religion, so Islam copy the Bible. First of all, Islam is not a religion. And now, what, you know, their Bible, the, you know, the first prescription, it was not any Isa or Maryam or Ibrahim or anything. Written they added it. They copy from the Quran, distorted it, and then they put their Bible and then, then they claim, oh, the Quran is a copy of the Bible and our Muslim, Imam Tabri and all these other criminal people, they made the translation based on heresy, not based on the grammar. And you will get this translation now, you know, based on grammar, education, lexicon. I think within two days it will be, we are going to start you give you five, six verses every day. You know. So this is happen with the Quran. Clear and solid arguments by Janat. Strengthen him by Ayyadina. Give him the power with the written, with the constitution, Ayyadina. With the philosophy of the Quran, which has a deep, far away, far away intense effect by Ruhul Qats. I already explained. That is the reason I explain you Ru and Kals. It was having the word the Isa ibn Maryam did, he replaced the Roman Empire. They defeated the Roman Empire. This is a Beru al Quds. They defeated the Roman Empire in the battlefield and they made their capital the name Quran has given Rabwa. This is because of the Quran they have. in the society and whenever there came to a messenger, whenever the messenger came to a representative, came to you with what your high estimation did not desire. You don't want because you want to your, your interest. Some of you have become stubborn. Astak Paratum Paparikan. They said, we will not listen. We don't agree with you. And all these mullahs, our priesthood, our all the religious scholars, they are all stubborn. They don't want to listen to the Quran. Even they don't know the Quran. They never ponder upon the Quran. So according to this verse, all your mosque, your religious institution, because Quran is not a religion. So they are all astak paratam. They are all stubborn. They don't want to listen. If anybody talk to, to them or make question to them, they will kick him out from the mosque or they will kill him. Then one imposter group lied him. Kazabatan Fariku. And this group was, you know, Roman Empire. They opposed them and insulted him by fighting. 
It does not mean the, the takht alone. It's a plural. Do you think they they were killing all these people? Qatl has three meaning: knowledge, fighting, struggle, and in, an insult. So they insult because Isa al Islam speeches were given. It is was given in my book, and we are making the movie on that. It has also started. So he delivered the wonderful speeches. So they insulted him. During his speeches, they interfered. The Jewish priesthood, the royal priesthood, who were working for the Roman Empire, they insulted him. The Quran has given Surah Maryam and Ibrahim the detail of that. And I have compiled this in my book. Then, the verse number 1287. This is about Yusuf al-Islam, where the Quran has used the word Ruh. You know, I am bringing my, in the support of my claim what I am saying. There are other verses but I selected too. Why? Because the time is short. Yabani is a who, but the hassu min Yusuf abu akhiya, wala tasiyo min ruh Allah. Inna Allah ya ya hassu min ruh Allah ilal kaum al kafirin. Yabani is who, or my leadership, or my parent leadership. Yusuf, the dad of the Yusuf, or the leader of the Yusuf. So what they did, I'll give you a brief summary. They first of all took the Yusuf and threw him some, you know, you know, alone place or the desert. And one caravan came from there, they take one. And then his second brother was also reached to the Yusuf. So both were missing. And now he is saying Yamani is the rest, his uh, leader or his son. He asked them, what he asked them? Oh, my successful leadership, go and perceive or inquire or research for Yusuf and his brother. Both are missing. He asked them, they are my leader or my son. Go, at the Hassu. Search them. Yusuf Achia, Yusuf and his brother. And do not despair, Wala Tasu. Don't become hopeless. Allah will give us support. Don't become hopeless. Despair from the good, pleasant, bright, rejoiceful, cheerfulness, education of Allah. There is a rule quds, here is rule Allah. Education of the Allah. I mean, the Quranic Federation is based on the nature laws of Allah. So that is why the Quran has used this word, rule Allah. The, all the laws over here, on this planet, all in the universe, it is given by Allah, who is the supreme authority. But he is not that Allah whom you are worshipping. He is Allah. You will believe in Allah if you make research on His laws, permanent laws, immutable laws, and then make the beautiful this planet. So this is a rule law. So it means pleasant, bright and rejoiceful, cheerful and educational. It is not a travi. In Travi they get tired. What they were doing? They don't understand single word of the Quran. This is a pathetic and matter of regret that millions of Quran they finish, but they don't understand the single word. Even they don't understand the Bismillah Rahman. Even they don't understand how many words in the, uh, in the term Allah, phrase Allah. They don't know. All other nations, they know the alph alphabetic of their God, just like G.O.D. God. The Ram, 
or I am a Hindu. But Muslims, they don't know. Because they don't want to know, they don't want to make their research. They are ready to make donation, you know, giving the food. This is all useless. Because the people who are funding, they are criminal. How they get this money? By corruption, by evil deed. Truly no one no despair from the relief, giving from grief and sorrow and suffering education. In Allah, la Look, two times. This Quran is an education of the Allah. When you will understand this, you will feel pleasant, bright and rejoiceful, cheerfulness. This is the quality of the Quran. But if you worship it, or you believe Allah, then I am believing Allah because of worshipping. This is the, now you are in the darkness. You are ignorant. And this concept of worshipping Allah has destroyed the, our two million people. And that is the reason we are living in a humiliation, degradation. Accept those who acknowledge it, disacknowledge it. Disacknowledge it. So I will put the discussion. So those people who acknowledge this truth, they were in grief, in sorrowness. So this is the meaning of Travi. And what you will do with this nation? She is saying Travi's, you know, practice of Shatam is a bidha. It's a rebellious section and Sunni they are saying no. Let me give you one thing. Sunni is also Shia. But they are lower grade of Shia. They are all Shia. All these hadiths in whether in Sunni, whether in Shia, they are created by the Iranian Imam. They were all Zoroastrian. Shabrat. It's a Zoroastrian. And so many other things. So thank you very much and uh, if you have any question please don't hesitate to send me and the next lecture will be the this song which they have translated fasting song according to the Quran the reforming department of the Quran Federation. Check and balance they were doing. This is the meaning of song. So the last lecture will be that. And then I have given you all those all those verses in which the word song has been used. I did my duty. And I'm not a religious priesthood. I'm not any, I don't have any, my, you know, this uh, uh, foundation to ask you, to give you, to ask you to give me fund, nothing like that. So please ask this question in the mosque. These mosques are your property. Try to bring one Quranic center, research center in one mask in your area if, you, if it is under your control because they will not give you control. It is their business, it is their bread and butter. They will not leave you. All these organizations of the mosque, they are all parasite. They take your, they take your patrana, your money, your zakat and they are enjoying the life. Thank you very much.